got to see it early. Afro nerded myself. And I think this movie, Shazam, is a fun, loving family movie that actually did get it right. DC stepping up their game. They stick to the source material. Overall, I thought the movie was good. And you know me, I, I got a problem with DC anyway. I'm not a Marvel fanboy, but I am a movie fanboy. When you nail the product and you do it well, I give you your props. I think this movie, they did it well. You know, they did it well. They got things down, they got the mythos down. That's very important to the kind of geek slash nerd. I can't say, I can't really hate on it. Was it great? No, it wasn't great, but it was good. Should you go see this movie? Yes, you should. We'll go out and see this within the next, it comes out actually the 5th of April. So come and see, you gotta see it before the end game comes out. And once the end game comes out, it's all over. Everything is shut down. So once again, my name is the captain for Afternerd Radio on Afternerd.com. I'm gonna pass the mic over to Afternerd himself. Thank you very much and have a tremendous day or evening. It's your boy, D-Bird, a.k.a. The Afro Nerd. I'm here live. I know that my <laughs> co-producer hates me to say live. I'm not live. I'm here at AMC Theaters in Fresh Meadows, New York, having seen Shazam actually yesterday at another theater, but that's besides the point. Shazam actually corrects the ship for DC. Marvel has it going on, we all know that, but DC this time around might have actually corrected itself. Shazam was excellent. It's probably going to be at the very least, a half a billion dollar movie, easily. Uh, the CGI was on point, $100 million to make this thing. Zachary Levy is the man. We see also Megan Good, the lovely Megan Good makes an appearance. So can I recommend Shazam? Most definitely. Folks, check us out at Afrenerd.com, Afrenerd Radio, and our IG page, Afrenerd underscore radio. It's been real, Shazam!